of our downtown leaders lunches where we put members of the business community in front of a senior leader in a position of authority in Greater Manchester and today we've got the Chief Constable of Greater Manchester Police, Sir Peter Fahey. He's going to be talking about the issues of policing a city like Manchester but also answering questions from the business community so we've got a few questions for him but I'm sure members of the audience have got quite a few too. Well, Manchester is a very vibrant, very prosperous city, huge amount of activity every single day. So it's vital that we're in constant cooperation with the business community on issues like business crime, public safety, clearly the nighttime economy. So we have had a, a number of successful partnerships which help to make Manchester a safer and a better place. But we want Manchester to be a, a very prosperous place. We want lots of pe people and visitors come here, but there is clearly a practical issue for us that with more and more places opening up, more hotels, more bars and restaurants, the trouble is it increases the demand on policing um, and therefore the problem for us is at a time of reducing resources. We really need to find some way in which we can share in the prosperity. Um, but obviously it's also about working with a lot of the licensed premises to try and make sure it is a safe place and we have a number of very good partnerships working with people like security staff which help in the management of premises uh, and make sure that you know, people who are misbehaving or people that could be a threat um, to the atmosphere um, are dealt with. We've seen a huge growth in, in cybercrime, of fraud on the internet, uh, of people misusing social media, so a lot of uh, complaints about bullying and issues like that on social media. So it's an enormous challenge for us and that's why it's really, it's really important to work with business, with the technology industry, so we can make sure that our staff are trained up to the right level, that we've got good information sharing with technology companies and business. Uh, and clearly we need their help. We need their help to help pr protect uh, society, to help prevent crime, um, and obviously to take down material or websites which are only up there for the purposes of fraud. It is about really cooperation with the business community, that by working together um, we can continue to reduce crime in Manchester um, and continue to attract more and more visitors and more and more business. I think this event was very good. I've been to a number of downtown events over the years. I've been involved with Frank, I guess, since he first moved into Manchester. Um, I, I love these sorts of events. I like the fact that you, know, you get a small group of people around the table. You can have a conversation, listen to a great speaker. Um, I thought Sir Peter was incredible in terms of his honesty and frankness about you know, policing in a city such as Manchester and congratulations to downtown for putting on such events that enable us to have access to such important people. It was my first time at uh, one of the downtown events, um, met some really, really interesting people, really good networking event and I thought Sir Peter Farr, his talk and question and answer session was fabulous. It went brilliantly. I thought it was an excellent idea to have a chief constable at a business lunch. You wouldn't necessarily think there was a great connection between business and, and well, obviously what Sir Peter Fahey does, which is crime, but I thought he made it really relevant for a business audience. And he was very frank at this lunch on a number of subjects, but he frankly said, what I actually need is more people with IT experience behind the computer screens so that we can track people using all the methods of IT that are now available and also, of course, uh, CCCTV. That is really the way forward for policing. It's all e-policing as opposed to physical policing, not, not one or the other. But I thought he was very interesting on the mix there has to be in the future in order to catch criminals. And I think downtown, as a business organisation, puts on a hugely innovative programme. Uh, of events. You know, we have our fun, sexy networking, awards dinners, which are great fun, and then we have business lunches, leaders' lunches, where people actually get a chance to meet the movers and shakers uh, in, in, in Greater Manchester and in all our other centres, obviously in Liverpool, uh, Lancashire, and Leeds. Uh, you know, downtown provides that valuable experience to people, something a bit different than perhaps other business organisations might, might, might provide, and I think today has been an absolute example of that. It's not very often you see a Chief Constable leaning on a pillar to ask a question. What came over from that, well for the whole thing for me, was the humour of the man, the humanity of the man and his passion for what he does, which really impressed me. I was quite interested when he was talking about the need to protect everybody in the city, including the people that he described as undeserving. And I thought that was really important. We were having a discussion before lunch about who's in the city and what's in store for them. And it, I find it really reassuring that contrary to what we hear and see on, in the media, mostly in dramas, about the police and people who may not be in the top notches of our society, that they are protected and looked after and the duty to them is just as much as to everybody else. And I like that. I was very pleased. Well, it was my first event with uh, Downtown Business and I was really impressed. Um, I was impressed at the quality of the clientele. 
um, and I was surprised at the openness of uh, the Chief Constable uh, in answering his questions. The venue is one of the best venues in Manchester anyway for food, um, so for me it was all good and I'll be back. Today's leader's lunch with Sir Peter Fowler has been an outstanding success. Not only did he really open himself up to members of the business community in answering their very detailed questions about policing in a city like this, he also shared some real insights into how a, a force like Manchester embraces technology and I think everyone will have gone away from it learning a little bit more than they knew beforehand. Sir Peter's talk today wasn't just about the fight against crime but the changing way in which police forces have to serve the public to make them safe, to make them be able to conduct their business in safety and in so doing also tackle crime that takes on new dimensions. Criminals are often early adopters of new technology and the police force, as he admitted, have sometimes been slow to catch up. But in many ways now they've actually been ahead of the curve, particularly in how they adopt social media and how that's enabled them to have a relationship with people at a local level so local police stations can continually have a dialogue with members of the public in the way that maybe they used to do down the pub. Now people can talk to their police services on Facebook and Twitter. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for Sir Peter Fox.